हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नीरज वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ ए पी आई डेवलपमेंट यूजिंग गो फाइबर फ्रेमवर्क वी हैव ऑलरेडी वर्क ऑन अवर गेट राउट पोस्ट राउट पुट राउट एंड नाउ इट्स टाइम टू वर्क ऑन डिलीट राउट सो इन डिलीट राउट एक्चुअली वी आर गोइंग टू डिलीट अ ब्लॉग एंड रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस फॉर द गिवन ब्लॉग आई डी सो द आइडिया हेयर वुड बी दैट वी वुड रिसीव अ ब्लॉग आई डी एज अ राउट पैरामीटर एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट ब्लॉग आई डी वी विल डिलीट दैट रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम द डेटा बेस सो लेट अस वर्क ऑन दैट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस क्रिएट द लेट अस लेट अस वर्क ऑन दिस राउट सो वी विल हैव आई डी एंड नाउ लेट अस कम बैक टू अवर ब्लॉग डिलीट फंक्शनलिटी so in this function so first of all so we will collect this id p dot params so we got the id and uh, first of all we need to uh, get that blog uh, actually we are going to check whether that blog exist or not and if the blog exist then only we will delete that blog otherwise we will uh, halt the operation and return so we will have a record it would be model dot blog and uh, db con so again we are going to check get the for the first record id so this way so we will get the record and we we, we will check so if so if actually it, uh, if uh, this uh, id is zero that means the record does it did it record uh, we didn't find the record so we are going to write a message here record not found and we will also return it as a context message would be this we will copy this and the status would be our 400 because we didn't find the record and uh, we will return c dot json and context fine so uh, once the uh, record has been found and now it's time to delete it and deleting is also very very simple so don't worry so there is nothing complex about it so just like we have the uh, options to get the data fetch the data so similarly we will we gom provides a functional function called delete and we will delete we will call this function and pass on the record and again it returns a interface so we will collect it so it's actually it's better to check for errors in order to make our program our our code a uh, full fledged defect free so we will check if result dot error is not nil then we actually i'm just going to copy this here for context would be so let's say something went wrong a generic message again it's a 400 but uh, one more thing i would like to uh, cause this uh, we are actually setting this uh, status code again and again for any failed error so better to set it as a default one at the very top and uh, also let it be let all this be empty for now and uh, so this we and uh, we will set 
here also status text as actually we don't need to set it because we have already initialized is to blank so we will set the status text if and only if we get the data so here we will set context and uh, our message would be we will say record deleted successfully and uh, we will also set the status text as this time ok and the uh, and the status, uh, HTTP status would be 200 so this way so we have eliminated many other things so we actually we we are repeating this again and again and ideally as a, as a best practice so we should optimize write our code in a well optimized fashion right so now it's time to test our this api so we will initiate our under client and uh, right now we are having if we see a uh, initiate a get request okay so we will need to change it so we are having a three uh, record three blog entries so let us try to delete this third one so we will supply first of all let's supply a uh, random values so we will change the method from put get to delete and uh, now send the request so we are getting a 400 bad request status is 400 message record not found and status is text also empty so now let us try to provide a valid id and uh, we will send the request so we got it so record deleted successfully status text also okay so we can cross check with a get request okay so we need to delete it and uh, so yes so it works well so we successfully completed our uh, create request list request list uh, create blog list blog uh, update a blog and we can also delete a blog so we deleted the third uh, blog id so that way so we completed our uh, basic i mean crud operations or the so our apis are ready and uh, now it's time to we will uh, proceed to our front end development so that we can uh, create our front end ui and from the ui we will we will access this apis from our ui and uh, in our ui uh, react.js ui powered ui so we will uh, uh, we will uh, display and we will uh, perform our op our operations upon the data fine so that's all for this session if you have anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll i'll see you in some other sessions so till then take care and happy coding